T -t -t Taurus. Hi, how are you? I'm gonna go ahead and give you your June 2020 general tarot reading. Yes. Alrighty then, you should know I'm gonna give you not one uh, but two uh, tarot readings. Uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna go ahead and give you the first reading with the Trippin' Weight Tarot deck, followed by the Prisma Visions Tarot deck. I'm gonna also give you an Oracle and a Body Positive Affirmation reading, so make sure you stick around for the entire video. So it's gonna be a general collective tarot reading for Tauruses, okay? So make sure you check your sun, moon, and ascending sign for you. Uh, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification button. And make sure you comment down below if the reading resonates with you, you like the reading, you like the vibe, you like what the hell I'm saying, and if you'd like to book a personal tarot reading with me, in the description box below is a link to my Instagram channel. You can check out my pricing and DM me directly to book a tarot reading. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start throwing cards down for Taurus for June 2020. Um, I have the devil card reverse, okay. Um, it feels like I was doing a pre-shuffle and it feels like you're gonna be getting rid of like a leech or somebody that's gonna be using you or taking advantage of you. Okay, uh, we got the knight of swords here. Followed by the ace of wands. I got the six of wands reverse. Oh, and if you hear background noise, that's just like the dog playing, so please don't get offended. Uh, I have the Six of Swords here. Just in case of wondering, it's like, what the hell is that panting? It's not me, but maybe it's my other lips. Anyway, so like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get more cards. <laughs> My boyfriend's laughing at that. Uh, I got the Five of Cups. I got the Four of Swords Reverse. And one more card. I've got the Ace of Cups here. So the bottom of the deck, the overall vibe I have, it is going to be the Queen of Swords Reverse. You'll be dealing with a Gemini. You could also be dealing with a Libra. You could also be dealing with a Loud Dog, too. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> Um, uh, with the Queen of Swords here reversed, you're not taking any shit from no one, okay? This could be social media that could be trying, like, uh, your friends or family or whatnot or giving their own political opinion about what's going on with the Roni Roni and with the Black Lives Matter movement, whatever, and you're like, I am not here to play. Good day and good day. I will block you, bye-bye, and bye-bye, you're dead to me, right? So, <laughs> because that's how you Tauruses are, you just block people. <laughs> so, with the devil card reverse, you could be dealing with a Capricorn here, but you are finally getting rid of this negative energy, okay? Now, this could have been a succubus, this could have been a sucky dick, right? Or this could have been just like, um, Anything that is toxic. Now, this could be drugs, alcohol, sex, gambling, everything that's supposed to be fun, maybe hoarding. Who knows? But you're finally getting rid of this. With the Knight of Swords here, this is an Aquarius. This is something that's going to happen very quickly, like your ex, within three seconds. Or this is going to be... <laughs> uh, this is going to be just something very quickly where it's like somebody... It's like when you're about to, like you work in retail and it is like two minutes before the store closes and some Karen comes into the store and takes an hour and only spends less than $2 on shit and then they're gonna whine about it the entire time but you have to suck it up because that's the, that's the game of retail. Like it's gonna be that kind of your own personal hell that you're gonna be like. It's a... Uh, like the Simpsons with uh, Sideshow Mel and whenever he'd step on a rake and you'd be like, <laughs> like it's going to be like that. So with the ace, uh, we have two aces here, which is good. So there are new beginnings with love. Yes. 
fault with we have the ace of wands this is going to be a new beginning just new creative projects um, this could be writing a script a play this could be trying to create I'm seeing like a lot of zero one zero one so this could be like programming for like a new game uh, maybe it's like some sort of virtual reality world. I am seeing a lot of very sexual things It could be like making like a pleasure model Maybe you're making some sort of like anime like wife or something. That's an ant like a robot doll I don't know with the six of Wands reverse. I am seeing you that this is something that you can't brag about and especially if you bring your pillow wife to a family reunion People are gonna question you. It's gonna be something like that. Um, it's something that you're not going to be able to brag about. This is going to be low-key humble brag, right? This is going to be low-key humble brag. It's not like uh, you can call up your mom, depending on what type of relationship you have with her, and be like, I just got some dick, right? So um, now with the three of swords here, there's disappointment and sadness, okay? Because it's followed by the five of cups. This is full on depression, anguish, despair. This happens very quickly, right? It feels like you had to cut a vice, you had to cut something very quickly here um, because you were searching for this new beginning. Now, this could have been maybe you had a one night stand or even hooking up with someone and you thought it was something more, but really all it was was just dick or just vagina, whatever your preference because sexuality is fluid. I don't care what you find, you know? And there's a lot of disappointment here. A lot of sadness now you could be dealing for the past three months it could be you know it could be three to six months uh, it could be like three to six years for some of you where you've been dealing with this depression now the four of swords reverse this is a Libra vibe okay um, you finally are tired of taking that break and it seems like you are taking a break from dating or having commitments okay um, you were just in a lot of pain and depression and you're finally starting to get out of that slump. Now I'm sensing for maybe like a small percentage of you, maybe you're like agoraphobic, uh, like you were afraid to leave the house. Um, just socializing with people gave you like extreme anxiety and maybe like you were just like a shut in. It doesn't mean like you're like a, like a hoarder. It just means that you just like, hell no, I'm not leaving out of the house. Like you're, you know. Um, an introvert, like, like extreme introvert, you know, extreme introvert. The Ace of Cups here, you're ready for love, okay? Um, now, for some of you, this could have been just jumping into relationship to relationship. This could have been in a very bad, toxic, very toxic relationship, a very bad marriage, and you only stayed around because the dick is good, and isn't the worst relationships the sex is always the greatest it just seems like it is it's always that because they don't have any other skills except only one skill which is thrust thrust and then abandonment okay so hopefully that reading resonated um if not i'm going to go ahead and give you a different reading so this is going to be with the prisma visions tarot deck already then so Let's see what's going on for Taurus for June 2020. Let me mix these up for a moment for Taurus for June. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start throwing cards down. So I have the Page of Pentacles reverse for Taurus, okay? Uh, followed by the Seven of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles, okay? The Nine of Wands, okay? And Resident okay. So for the, there's only one card I have to look up because this is kind of like the wild card and I don't use this. I don't get this card very often. So, okay. So Taurus, I've got the page of Pentacles reverse. So there's not going to be an offer that's going to be made and it could be a job offer. Uh, this could be a place that you're trying to move. You may be trying to get uh, promoted or trying to level up at a job, maybe trying to get some sort of management position. This could have been trying to get some sort of scholarship, some sort of internship. Um, maybe there was a school, a college, a university that you were trying to apply for and you got that lousy decline letter. Um, just remember that this is 
this is not a defeat. It's just right now is not that time or you are not meant to work at this place as of yet. The seven of wands here, there's gonna be a lot of challenges for you and you're gonna be dealing with a lot of people um, that is gonna be very aggressive, uh, that is going to be always challenging you and, the, and there, you're gonna be dealing with people that are frenemies or pretending to be your friend, but they're only pretending to be your friend so they can take advantage of you. So um, like trying to get, uh, like trying to throw you under a bus to get a job, things of that nature. You could be dealing with somebody that's trying to double cross you as well. Uh, these are big changes though. Uh, a lot of challenges, roadblocks ahead. With the Knight of Pentacles here, see that, what, that's what I was trying to explain with the, with the Page of Pentacles. It's just right now is not the timing because there's too much on your plate, okay? There's a lot of challenges and difficulties. You're gonna be able to overcome it, but right now you need to focus what, there's, there's too much on your plate and you're trying to deal with too much shit. And if you try to, try to make this school or try to make this job, whatever it is full time, you will fail because there is too many distractions, which is things that are kind of out of your control, but you need to tackle those things first. Once you do, then the Knight of Pentacles will happen. Then that new direction, that new movement's gonna happen. And it will happen in baby steps, but it's going to be the most successful. And out of all the Knights, one, 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 you're gonna want the Pentacle because he's the most reliable, he is maybe slow, but he'll pop fast cross that finish line with little to no error. This person is very committed, they're well educated, and they're willing to grow and learn and evolve, okay? Um, so you're just gonna go ahead and follow the path because you know that the path that you're leading onto is towards success. Now, there may be delays, but you will make it there. You don't have to worry about trying to keep up with the Joneses and worry about, well, so-and-so is doing this or doing this. They have their own path. That's not your life. This is your life, okay? Um, the nine of wands here. There's victory. There is victory, but you are going to be dealing with challenges. You will be dealing with some adversities and um, you're gonna always have your guard, your shield up because you're gonna always expect other people to disappoint you or you know like your top dog and there's in your job or your, your field of work or whatever is so competitive always somebody's trying to take the crown from you if that makes any sense um now i want to go ahead and get this final card okay which is going to be a rosary so uh this is rosary is going to always be ready for you um, if you ever need to dip, uh, dip into another reality, you have the memories in your mind to stitch together to your own perfect play, uh, piece. But you also must understand that it's possible to spend too much time in another reality. The balance between two is something you can only teach yourself. Okay. There we go. So if that resonated with you, make sure that you comment down below. So I'm going to go ahead and give you an oracle and body positive affirmation reading. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this for Taurus. Okay, so we got stay optimistic. We got time to move on. Take those. Let yourself receive morning affirmations and yes. Okay, so stay optimistic. Now, your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs, okay? Don't get frustrated, don't get frustrated. Now, time to move on. It's time to let go of the old and a warrant so the new can come in. Let yourself receive. Allow others to give you loving care. Receive without guilt or apologies. It's okay to be vulnerable, okay? Morning affirmations, say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestations. When I was going through a really rough patch a few years ago, um, and it just seemed like it was a giant shit sandwich, you know, when things aren't going your way, uh, I would put like uh, sticky notes on my door and I would force myself to say these affirmations before leaving because you want to project positivity to the universe so it can reflect back to you, you know. And finally, yeah. Your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. 
Okay, so now let's go ahead and get to the body positive affirmation readings. There we go. There we go. Alrighty then, so these are your messages. So first, today I will fucking embrace my uniqueness and celebrate my authenticity. I am beautifully flawed and I fucking love me. Today I will focus on progress and not fucking perfection. Why my body is so easy? I look down and say, hey body, I fucking love you. And finally, Taurus, Yes, you can't get through today because you are a motherfucking unicorn. Titties. So hopefully these readings resonate with you. If they did, Taurus, um, make sure that you comment down below, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel. Um, don't choke on your food. I know you're eating Taco Bell and you're really, really high, but chillax. So thank you. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, wash your damn hands, and don't get paranoid, Taurus. Baba booey.